I have had an afternoon. <laughs> Hello. I, I got off work, came home, was all excited to open my boxes and I pulled out my key ring as soon as I got to my front door and I saw my key fob, you know, those little plastic thingies that you can buy that you stick your key into so you know which key is your house key or whatever. Yeah, I looked in that and it was empty and I was like, oh no. So I am, I immediately started retracing my steps. I went to the mailbox, I looked everywhere I'd walked since I'd gotten home and then I drove back to work and I went everywhere I drove and then I remembered, oh no, I went out to lunch but the place is closed and I don't wanna drive that for anyway. So I called my <laughs> emergency line for my property management company and <laughs> made this poor guy come out and give me, a, make me a new key in the office after hours. And then I get home and I've got the new key in my hand and what do I find in the lock of my house? My key. What happened I guess is that when I locked my door this morning and I pulled it out when I was done, all I pulled was the key key fob the key cover not the key so it was just in my door all day long so it was really safe very stupid <laughs> i hate it so let's open some boxes quick thing though i was supposed to have two fairy loots i don't know what their deal was but they shipped it extra late and then it sat for a week doing nothing in new jersey so it hasn't arrived yet so and i don't want to wait anymore i don't want to wait so what we're going to do instead of putting it in my next update I'm going to do like a special special little addendum video that's gonna be like five minutes long and I'll put that up when it arrives because I, I don't want to wait again I don't want to wait plus I got spoiled for this and this because it took me so long <laughs> let's do this thing monthly monthly subscription box unboxing plus some pre-orders that I got today so we got two in here I think Okay, I'm not sure which books are in which Barnes and Noble boxes. Okay, so the first one is You Should Be So Lucky by Cat Sebastian. I've been hearing such good things about this book, and I still need to read the first book in this series, but I, I really need to get to it. Maybe I should just like marathon them back to back, but it's a, it's a queer baseball romance set in the 1960s, and apparently it's amazing. Oh no! Oh, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad right now. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Why? Why? I hate it. 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 I bought this so it wouldn't have any crap on the cover. Good morning, America. I really need to invest in some of those stickers that you can buy to cover up this nonsense. I'm so mad, I'm so mad right now. Anyone wanna make me a sticker that's black with stars on it? This is the Ministry of Time by, uh, I don't know how to say her name, Kaylee Ann, Kalyan, Kaylee Ann, I like Kaylee Ann Bradley. And it is a genre buster of a novel that I've been very excited about ever since I heard about it. It, there's time travel, there's a cross-generational romance between somebody from the future and somebody from like the 1860s or the 1840s or something like that. And I don't know, it just sounds, it just sounds wacky as all get out and I need to, I need to read it. So I think I've got this up in July. Why can't they just do it as a sticker so I can take it off? Positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Okay, let's do Aardvark now. That's cute. That's the monthly postcard. Uh, there's a challenge, some sort of a thing. I'll look at it later. Ooh, new bookmark. It says, this book be good. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. This book butter be good. Get it? Because it's butter. That's cute. Aardvark is so clever. All right, so the book I chose, now Aardvark happened to pick several books that I had already pre-ordered, one of which I will be unboxing right here. So the other one is coming next month or it's coming soon, but you'll see it next month. But I ended up getting a happy medium, which is a romance about this woman who is sort of a con artist. She's a medium. She's like a fake medium, which I love stories about fake mediums. I, I like every time I like it every time. And please tell me that this is going to be any different anyway. So she is hired by this dude, to de-ghostify his property and it turns out there's actually ghosts and she can see them and then they fall in love or something I don't know and then there's there's apparently goats involved uh I enjoy that and I enjoy the pun of the title 
a lot of romance novels nowadays like have stupid titles that are punny for no reason but this actually makes sense with the plot of the story so bravo sarah adler i've yet to read anything but saw there so hopefully i'll like it okay so now let's do book of the month ah i feel like i'm gonna stab myself because this is so hard to get into what the hell did superman tape this bookmark emotional support bookmark that's pretty cute that was submitted by Emma C. from Oxford, Michigan, member since 2021. Now this one, I also had pre-ordered a bunch of things. <laughs> so I'm really, my pre-orders are getting in the way of my subscription boxes, but it's fine. So this is a thriller and that's The Return of Ellie Black by Amiko Jean. I have one of this author's books on my TBR and I own it on audio and I, ha I just haven't gotten around to it. But this sounded interesting. So it's about a missing girl and apparently it's multiple timelines and there's a detective and it's her sister that went missing and then other people start going missing. I don't know. I didn't really look too far into it. I just went for it because the other ones that I would have gotten, I already had pre-ordered. <laughs> so whatever. I don't know when I'm going to get to this. It's not going to be super high on my priority. Maybe if somebody gives it a really stellar review, I'll bump it up. But for now, it's just going to be on the back burner. So this one is one from Book of, Book of Month had it. And I was like, well, I can't get that because I'm getting a pretty edition in the mail. <laughs> and that is Five Broken Blades by Mae Cortland. Oh, that's so worth it. I'm so glad that I got the real version. Look at that shine. And then the back says, let, let the best liar win. And then it's got these edges. Look at them. Look at them. Ooh. And then the top, the bottom's just the bottom, but oh, that's so pretty. Oh. And it's really like high quality. Red Tower has not been good with quality frequently, but this is hefty. This is like a freaking special edition from Fairyloot and it's just the regular edition. Holy crap. It's like, um. It feels like leather, but it's not. So this is the front. I made such a good decision, you guys. <laughs> and then it's got these end papers. May the best liar win. Same, same end papers on this end. Holy crap, that's a beautiful book. That is so beautiful. So this is this is the standard now, apparently. Like who needs a special edition when that's the regular edition? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love it. We are we are truly blessed. Anyway, this is a fantasy novel about five assassins, I believe, in a fantasy world. It's a fantasy book who are coming together to kill a king. And they all have like shady pasts, I think. I don't know. I, I Again, when I put books on my TBR, I look into it. And then I try to forget as much as possible. <laughs> so I don't remember a lot about this. But it's getting great reviews. And I am just super excited to read it about five weird people trying to kill a king and it's part of a series oh my god i'm obsessed with that book uh, oh. now let's get to my fairy loot so this is uh, this is april's fairy loot but i normally would have wait no it's march's fairy loot april's fairy loot is the one that is still on its way yeah this is march and i got spoiled for it but it's fine so the theme is swan lake because it is a swan lake retelling from what I have heard. Here's the spoiler card for those of you who want to know. I love that they still put it in the bag. Okay. Pippin's down here looking at what I'm doing. Oh, that's very pretty in person. Okay, that's very pretty in person. I wasn't as impressed with it on camera, so maybe you're not gonna be impressed with it either. But this is a Feather So Black. I will pop the original cover in here. I like the original cover better, but this is very pretty. This is very pretty. Here's the back. By the way, this reminds me, is it The Swan Princess? Came out in the 90s. It's a movie. It's a retelling of Swan Lake. Also, I loved that movie when I was a kid. I loved it so much. The princess is, turns into a swan and she falls in love with the dude and blah, blah, blah. I rewatched it as an adult. Do not do that. It absolutely 1000% does not hold up. Only a child would like it. And even then a very young child. Okay, so we've got, oh, those are pretty. Pretty edges. See that? Look at that. If I knew this, we have reverse dust jacket art. This is original, the original cover with a change in colorway. This is the British version. I showed you the American version earlier. Cloth bound. Cloth bound. 
So this is the Naked Hardback. I love that spine. And there's the back. Ooh, that's pretty on the inside. Why are there three people? Oh no, is there gonna be a love triangle? From now on, if all love triangles do not end in triples, I will be upset. I have been spoiled by, well, the first one I read was Iron Widow, but there've been a couple more since. And then it's signed. Same on the back, yeah, it's the same on the back. So that's very pretty. And it's prettier in person than it is on camera. So that's all I will say. I don't really know much about, I haven't heard really anything in terms of the quality. So we'll see when I'm in the mood, mood for a fantasy romance. And then here we go with Evernight. We're almost to the broken binding, you guys. I'm so excited. And I got spoiled for this. Gavin from Gavin Reads It All in one of his random videos just popped it out of nowhere. And I was like, dude, you gotta warn people that it's coming. This is the card for Evernight. This is the Illumicrate Horror subscription. There's the spoiler card if you wanna see the book. But you're about to see it right now anyway, so I don't know. I love that they're putting these in bubble wrap now because then I can keep the bubble wrap and when I, people buy things from my Pango, you can just reuse it. So now I've already read this book and I liked it. And I don't think I'm going to, like, even before I saw what it was, what the book was, I, I was like, I don't need a special edition of this. Like, this is not the kind of book you need a special edition of. So I think I'm going to sell this one. It's going on my Pango pretty soon because I don't think that I like it enough. I don't know. We'll see. I might change my mind just on camera. <laughs> Watch it happen. Okay. So here's the cover. Actually, that's really cool. Do I need, but I don't need two copies of the book. I only gave it four stars. I liked it a lot more than other people have been liking it also. Let's just say that. But Simone St. James and I just vibrate on the same level like we always have. I love her. I love her writing. Like she can do no wrong. There is the spine. The top and the bottom are pink. And then it's got these pink foresty edges. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then the back. That's a spoiler. Sorry. Oh, this is pretty. It's got a map. of the town. Shit, I might have to keep this, you guys. <laughs> it's not like I would be able to, I mean, I could get my money back, but I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for a little bit and decide <laughs> because it's very pretty. It is cool. It's a very cool book. The design department for Evernight is killing it. It's fun that I've already read the book, so I know what all this stuff means. Anyway, if you don't know, <laughs> sorry, I was like distracted by looking at the pretty book. This is a book. It's set in the 90s. It's a horror mystery thriller. She always does like spooky ghost stories combined with like a romantic element and a mystery element. And this book is no different, uh, except for this is the 90s is the historical element when she's done like way further in the past before. And th this is a newly married couple. They're on their honeymoon and they're driving to a resort when they stop by the side of a road that's really creepy and this this girl is just walking very slowly with her head down on the side of the road and they stop and when they're like do you want to ride and she she says yes eventually even though she doesn't talk to them at first and she gets in their car and pretty soon while they're driving they realize she's been stabbed and it's really creepy <laughs> the the way that she puts it together and then so they they rush her to the the nearest hospital where she dies and then the local police immediately accuse them of her murder. But it turns out this is only the latest in a series of murders on this road. So these two get wrapped into solving the mystery so that they can be free of this town and these people. And I just, the thing that I liked about this was their relationship the most. There's just something so sweet about someone finding their person when they've had such a hard time and both of them have had a really hard time and they find each other and it's very sweet and I just really liked it. The mystery itself wasn't super memorable, which is why I'm sort of wavering on whether I need to keep this, but I had I had a good time with it. Bloop. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the Broken Binding is a relatively new subscription. It has, I was on the wait list for it for a year. They do subscriptions a little differently than most fantasy book boxes or most books, book boxes in general. They don't do single editions for subscribers. They do, and I'm on tier two. I'm on the wait list for tier one. So tier tier two is just a, a, just a copy of the book. And I guess with tier one, you get other goodies and you get assigned a numbered edition and all your numbers are always the same. 
So that's pretty cool. But they do series, fantasy series, and they're like true fantasy series. Like something that drives me a little crazy about Fairy Loot and Illumicrate is that a lot, if not most, of the books that they choose are very clearly an evolution from young adult fantasy. And the, the books that they choose like follow that mold of fantasy. Like, and I'm a fan of true fantasy. That's my first love. Like Lord of the Rings, epic fantasy type shit. Game of Thrones and Scott Lynch and you know, all, all, all those guys, okay? And Robin Hobb. But Fairloot and Illumicrate so frequently do like, they lean, they lean romanticy. But even when they don't, the, the feel is just different. You know what I mean? These guys do fantasy fantasy. They do epic fantasy and they do it series. So when you get the subscription, you they do it like a series at a time. And I just happened to get on the wait list for one of my favorite fantasy series of all time, which is Scott Lynch's The Gentleman Bastard sequence. There's going to be seven books. He's only published three. We've been waiting so long for book four. I think it's finally coming though. There's been some movement. But anyway, the first three books were the first series that I was eligible for and I almost pooped my pants. Anyway, you can skip one series a year, but I, I don't think I'm going to skip because somebody's going to want those books and I can always just put them on Pango and I wouldn't upsell them like a lot of people do. Like, like there's people who just double the price or triple the price and I'm like, I'm just going to sell it for what the box cost me. Thank you. Whatever series they do after this, if, if I'm not into it, I've, I'll put it on my Pango. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. So you get the whole series month after month and the, the spines and the edges go together to make a, like a full picture. So anyway, with all that said, let's open this. It is a pretty pricey subscription though compared to the others that I do because the shipping is, is pretty expensive. Like I pay $35 for Fairy Loot now because they have a US shipping center and I pay like $36 for a Lumacrate, I think. And I pay 45 for Evernight because that's still coming from the UK. And this one, it was 50. It is a thing. Now I've heard that they really go to town on their packaging and that appears to be true. I can keep this again for future use. I guess they just want to make sure that their beautiful books get to me unscathed. And then we got bubble wrap. And it's wrapped. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And then it comes with a bookmark. So it says The Lies of Lac Lamora, which is this book. And on the back it says there's no freedom quite like the freedom of being constantly underestimated. And then every book comes with this. So this is marking it as The Lies of Lac Lamora. I don't want to unwrap it. Uh, can I take this off without untying the ribbon? Yes, I can. So it's always hard I, I, I never want to mess up a pretty bow <laughs> I don't want to unwrap it it's, oh goodness gracious <laughs> I like a little kid okay so this is the UK cover which I like and that's the spine and then we've got some very pretty edges and on the back it says, clutch one, then run, clutch twice, get hung. Ooh, this is nice, nice quality. We have the front of the book. It says The Lies of Lac Lamora by Scott Lynch. And then I assume that is Locke, the main character. And I believe this is Jean, his best friend. And then we have, oh, it's the opening scenes of the book. Some pretty realistic looking fan art. That is young orphan Lacamora being sold to this organization. Oh yeah, and then this side, I'm not sure what scene this is exactly because it's been a really long time since I've read the book, but yeah, oh, that is so pretty. And then it's got a ribbon bookmark, which I just messed up. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can fix it. I just messed it up. I don't know how they get it in there like that. Okay, yeah, that's so pretty. I'm going to be rereading re this this summer. 
because I can't pass up the chance. And I'm not one of those people like that doesn't read their special editions, I will be reading this. But I'm not gonna be getting rid of my other copy of this book. I'll get rid of my my mass markets of books two and three because they're, they're nothing special, but book one is signed by Scott Lynch and it says nice bird asshole, <laughs> so I can't get rid of it. Let me get all of this nonsense. And I just usually leave these boxes them for, for them to play with for a little bit. So I'm a bad mother. Oh, I just saw the sticker on Ministry of Time and now I'm pissed again. And then here are all of my bookses. This is my haul. I hate posing for thumbnails, it's so awkward. And yeah, that's what we've got. So hope you enjoyed this. I feel a little scattered. I blame, I blame the key saga. I'm gonna go um, and pet these. Yeah. Hope you have a good night, bye.